Well, it's the knockout stage in the Champions Cup, the round of 16. It really hots up from here on in. Well, it does, and this is where your better players would hope to step forward and really lead from the front. The game today, Basel against Arsenal. Arsenal feeling good about their own game, looking for another victory. Last time out, they won at home against Watford. They'd finish 1-0, it was quite a, a close run affair. But I think they are capable of following up with another win today. This is the lineup for the home side. So we think it's going to be 3 5 2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. This is the Arsenal lineup. Pedicek starts in goal. Eric Bailly plays alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in the heart of defence. Lorenzo Insigne plays alongside Isco. In the middle of the park, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang starts together with Karim Benzema. Ricky van Volstenkel. Benzema. On to the attack now. East goal! Goalkeeper can only parry it out. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Really getting at the opposition. In on the goalkeeper. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. De La Feu. Possession in the midfield area. Van Volsweg goal! Well, it looked a bad miss. I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. Hector Berry, return pass. Insigne. It's Isco. To Hall. Arsenal with a sharp edge to this attack. And they're keeping the ball, that's the important thing the move and able to cut out the pass really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make He's pointed for the free kick Insignia Hall. Hector Berry. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Well, it's an important area to win back the ball, that. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. It's Isco. De La Feu. Hector Berry. Good stuff from Arsenal. When they get it wide, they look good. Here's Bayerin. Gerard De La Feu. Insigne. To Abamayan. He stopped the opposition, gets the ball out of harm's way. Just seeing their teams come out, Alan, in this snow. Some players are relishing it, rolling up the shorts, sticking their chests out. Others are shivering a little bit. It's, it's a bit different, isn't it? We used to love training in the snow and uh, having a good fall about, but uh, it's not going to settle so much on the pitch, I don't think, particularly when they get going. Paul. Obama game. To take the lead. They stopped him in the nick of time. It's a great sight in the snow, the slight tackle. Hector Berry. Aubameyang. On to Insigne. De La Feu. Here's Berrin. And there is the half-time whistle, nil-nil at the break.
Teams lined up, ready to go for the second half of this Champions Cup match for a place in the quarterfinals. A little bit uh, tense at times, a bit tactical in the first half. Might uh, open up now. There's some potential in this move. De La Feu. Good challenge. That'll be a throw. Insigne. Isco. Shot on! That is quite a wild effort at goal, although he got good contact on the ball. Alvarez Balanta. There's good progress with this attack. That certainly helps the goalkeeper and those in the middle to stop the cross like that. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes, still 45 minutes to go, of course. Arsenal are going to make a switch. Paul. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Jimenez. Ricky Van Volstenkel. It's looking good, this move. Jose Maria Jimenez. Hall. Gerard De Lefeu. It's Isco. To Hall. De Lefeu. Bit of keep ball going on here. Isco. A little private game between the two of them. Abamayak with Benzema. Excellent piece of defensive play under some pressure, I must say. Lazio are in the transfer market, so the rumours are telling us, and we believe those rumours to be true. Yes, and uh, about £35 million, pounds, it sounds as if they're going to have to pay, but small change for this club. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. It was good play until they got that challenge in. To Hall. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. Arsenal, they'll be hosting Manchester City. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. Jordi Alba. Back with Benzema. Obama Yang. Setting up to shoot and getting encouragement from the crowd to do so. Well, they're joining in the jubilation together, aren't they? The scorer and the supporters who are urging him to have a crack at goal. Yeah, as soon as he got hold of the ball from that distance, the crowd knew exactly what they wanted him to do. He can't have scored many better than this with the bend he's imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. Arsenal, as you would expect, have gone in front. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Looking for teammates in the middle. Good defensive clearance there. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to G up their players, trying to get behind them, trying to produce a bit better than we've seen so far. Still 1-0 here, with the time almost up. What about this uh, impacting on the next game? Space for the shot! Got to be. And that's a brilliant goal, well taken. It's getting better and better for them. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Well, here's the goal again. Restarting at 2-0. Santos. Karim Benzema. 
Aubameyang. Benzema. Arsenal with a sharp edge to this attack. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. And here's a chance for Arsenal. Oh, they've got out of jail there. And the whistle's gone for the last time today. Some celebrations at the final whistle, but they know there's still another job to be done, but it's a good start, isn't it?